Hey guys, Negan here. Welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I did some little bit of off-camera work and a little bit of preparation for the video. This is the Black Arabian Horse. I went and bought it. Cost me one thousand and fifty dollars. Uh, got the my our first set of semi-auto pistols. And uh, went ahead and changed my outfit to something I feel like to one of my uh, favorite outfits I've made this playthrough. Uh, and by the way, you guys have got the views up on the channel back back up again, and we're thriving. This channel is a small operation, but it's thriving. Thanks to your all support, so I want to say thank you for that. You all brought this channel back yet again. Thanks to your guys' support. This channel is pos is ran because you guys make it possible. I just wanted to give you give you all a little shout out. And according to my channel calculations, y'all are enjoying these videos, which makes me happy. So, without further ado, let's get to this episode. We got to hunt down Angelo Bronte. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, hi, Dutch. Cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. Over here. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From a scholar. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, <coughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah, where's Bronte? A fellow by the name of Bronte. <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte, Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, hey, friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. All right, let's get our running clothes on. Good morning, sir. Oh, uh, hi. All right, let's do this. Uh, 
All right, where are they at? Hey, hey, you got a cigarette, Mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York. I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some blood right there. Come on. This way. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope he won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you little I knew I had a bad feeling about this. That fella looks angry. Get back here. You're damn right I'm angry. That's my money, asshole. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 you're not getting away. You're going to get it. When I catch you, you're going to get it, boy. Those are, that's thousands and thousands of dollars. I'm not giving up nothing. Get, come here, you little bastard. Plus, I am a very capable gunslinger. You'll get it. You after that kid? Let us shit with that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob. Come on, keep up. All right. Right on his tail. Oh. Come here. Come here. You are not getting away. You hear me? Come here. Yeah, maybe. Depends how much... You run from me. Oh god, I got hit by a damn trolley! Oh my god, he got away, dang it! <coughs> oh my god. The guys, that was not meant to happen. I feel like H show delirious when he got hit by that truck. In GTA 5. <laughs> this has never happened, ever. Motherfucker. I'm getting you this time, you little son of a bitch. How dare you take my hard-earned money. You're gonna get it, boy. You're gonna get it. You better stop right now. Oh, yeah. I almost caught you. You better freaking run. I'm gaining. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm telling you, a cucumber's definitely a fruit. <laughs> oh my god, I find that interaction funny. Alright, where'd you go, little boy? Where'd you go? 
Oh, I almost, I almost caught this guy. I almost caught him. I was one second away from catching him. Oh, damn, my Jason Voorhees busting through them gates. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now. Come on. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yo -ho. Now, get out of here. All right. Time to meet up with good old Dutch and get this mission rolling. Oh, hi, Dutch. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, far from real open country. We're set up in chapter four now. Oh, let's talk to this guy. This is a cool dude. a glass. Oh, better be good then. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <sighs> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <laughs> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, 
I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm? Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Hmm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Hmm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. For it is. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, okay, viewers, your discretion is advised. I should have said that before. With it, but I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Oh dear, now, now guys, that's one of my favorite side quests to do. By the way, I like, I like Charles, he's a, he's a great, his character arc is like, funny, it's, it's crazy, it's weird, it just, it's a lot of things all boned up in the one, it's pretty awesome. Can you shut up, please, sir? I can walk where and run wherever I want. What in the world? Oh, yeah, sure, buddy. I'll give you some money. I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Ooh, special sink nice oil. Something instead of just begging. Well, ask you for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Well, I appreciate the special sink oil, sir. I hope you get get up get better in life. I hope you have a nice life and I hope you get you actually get some standing. Hopefully that 25 cents gets you going. There you are. Your boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just see some sick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Oh, God, Dutch, how are you gonna charm them? That don't sound like good the way you said that. Okay, John. I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? Well... You okay. Your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy.
Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. All right, we're in. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that did a very the woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but... Uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? No. I don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. 
They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows God by now it. there's no brave weights left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. All right, into the graveyards we go. This way. I don't know who that woman was, but all right. Let's keep looking. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but he won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Wait. Shush. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend. Died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Hang on. There might be something. Listen, these guys are worth a lot of money. You think you can rob us? Let's get after them. Careful, they're leading us out in the open. Can't see worth the damn. We sure picked the right night for it. Reckon this is going to wake a few people up? No doubt. Pick the right place to die, all right. Can hardly see what's shooting there. Oh God. Alright. Let's find a stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be 
get quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. <clears throat> we can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. 19 to 20 something dollars a body looted. We made like a probably a little over a hundred dollars just by looting those bodies. Always loot them, they're worth it's worth every penny. Think there might be something in here. It just likes that. That the stash is ours. We have the stash now. It's time to go back to Bronte. And now we gotta sneak past the police. All right, John, time to make a move. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for everything. Yeah, I'm fine. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. You're gonna love it. All right, we managed to save Jack. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. 
for taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. Oh, yeah. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him. Mama! He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, boy, safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I'm... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Yep, you're gonna get me some food for this party. By the way, this is one of the most wholesome, you know, parts of this game, by the way. This is easily one of the most wholesome parts of the game. Now we're gonna get messed up on whiskey. Yeah, party. I wonder how many Arthur could take. <laughs> Oh god, we're getting drunk. <laughs> All right. 
Hey guys, how you doing? Sleep this off, us. Oh, oh, Lord. All right, time to go to bed. Arthur's drunk and he's got to go to bed. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go in my room. to go to sleep. Let's go to the morning. Oh, yeah. Got Arthur looking all spiffy. Oh, it's Mary. Letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. All right. Well, what we'll do is, is we'll do the garden party mission. We'll do that side mission later. But we're going to go ahead and do this mission. Get it over with. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're going to make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. 
There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. Man. Come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a, a thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. All right. Nice art. <clears throat> ah, the angry cowboys who arrived. And oh, hi, Angela Bronte. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzal. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that, that is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. But none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, money. <coughs> but you, pff, 
As a guest, yes. As a guest, do it, huh? Okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. Yeah, Bronte, I don't believe a word that's come out of your mouth. I don't believe a single word of it. Oh, Lord. Try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. <laughs> yeah. What say you, Nikolov? All right. No drunken idiots at this party. I'm glad you're going out peacefully. place you got here <laughs> it's not mine and the city is horribly in debt but we can still put on a good show do you know every meter my lord rider we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands shall we oh, oh, oh. my lord they're fantastic Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for some <laughs> Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. We'll find out what. Sure. Oh, my God. Mr. Cornwall is very insistent. He shouts on the, te on the telephone for many minutes. <laughs> Just the way that was said, that's pretty funny. He shouted on the telephone for many, for many minutes. Oh my God! Did it the context of us knowing Cornwall? That's pretty freaking funny. I feel so bad for that servant. Thank you, Mr. Terry. 
Oh, we got five minutes of this episode left. I mean, we're out of the clutch, this guy's. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Look at... I'm sorry, sir, but the party's in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. <sighs> Forgive me. I was unaware. It's out of my sight. All right. We have like three minutes. So as this plays out. Oh, God. All right, we're going to. I'll tell you what. We'll finish. We'll finish this in the next episode, guys. That's what we'll do. So, without further ado, this has been your boy Negan. And to see what happens next, you guys see the next episode. So, anyway, peace out, and see you later. Goodbye.